Okay, welcome back to part two of my video series on the aluminum cases. Um, and I'm today going to be comparing a CB White Rhino aluminum case with a TF1 aluminum case. Um, there are some notable differences. Both are great cases for the VW engine. Um, but like I say, there are some differences. And so what I've got right now on my screen are, are the right side of both the CB case and then the, the TF1. Um, and first thing that jumps out at me on the TF1 are the lifter boards. If you'll notice as I zoom in here how close, um, well, they're not, uh, they're not individually shaped. It's as though they were hewn out of the aluminum billet. Um, you'll see what I mean. If I go back over here to the CB case, you notice how the lifter boards are distinct and they kind of exit from the side of the aluminum. Um, so that's one thing. It looks like there's the, the CB case is extremely stout, but uh, it looks like this TF1 is just that much more. Um, <clears throat> and also, on the TF1 case, um, I'm looking for it here. Uh, there are these little pins. I'm going to put my finger to one right there. And what you do with these is you, uh, when you're taking the case apart, and I'm trying not to jump around too much here, when you're taking the case apart, you stick an Allen wrench into the block um, where my thumb is, and you turn that, and what it does, it, it pushes the pin into the case and helps you separate the case halves. Um, that's a really nice feature. There's another one on the bottom. Uh, and there's, set, there's, there's four of these aligning the perimeter of the case. And it really helps to, when you're taking the engine apart. Um, with the CB case, the Auto Linea cases, um, they don't have that. And so you have to go for the old tried and true uh, case splitter tool, which I have part of here. So uh, anyway, you can see on the, on the CB case, there are six shuffle pins as there are uh, on the TF1, and you've got them on the opposite side. The pins on the TF1 case are actually on the left side. Um, let's see. I have, uh, as noted in my prior video, um, I've got 10 millimeter studs on this CB case. And noticing this one here, this is a deep recessed stud. Um, that, uh, when you order the studs from CB, they'll give you actually an extra stud. They make it so that you have, uh, the proper stud for a recessed hole and one that doesn't, with a, in a case that doesn't have the recessed hole. Um, so I really like that about CB. I like how their, uh, head, their head stud kits include both types of studs. Um, Jumping back over to the TF1 case, notice that the case savers is 10 millimeter, but there are no case savers installed. Um, it's because the case doesn't need them. This is a very strong case. It's capable of supporting 400 horsepower. Um, and so t the, um, the precision alloys, they don't use case savers. Um, and this, is, this is cut for 94s. And it's clearanced uh, for the the big stroke crank, the 86 crank. Um, the CB case, as you can see, maybe you can't see, but it has the case savers installed. And of course, like I said, the 10 millimeter studs. I don't know if you can tell from the picture here or from the video here, but this uh, bore opening is 3.5 millimeters. Um, raised so it's got a raised deck surface anyway 
Uh, that for now is all that I've got. I'm doing a comparo between, like I say, the CB White Rhino aluminum case and the Precision Alloy TF1 case, both of which are very stout and will make a great basis for any VW project you have. So that's all for now, and I might be making another video um, shortly, but this again is part two of my series on the aluminum cases. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like and a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like this video and my channel content and want to see more. Thank you. Bye-bye.